Here Carve. On you come. What have you got? You got more than okay. three words for us. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so we made the phone call. This is the information. Uh, the Kylian Mbappe deal to uh, Real Madrid. Where's he going? Real Madrid <laughs> from PSG is totally off. It's completely off. I've just got off the phone to somebody in Paris who's working on the deal. This is incredible. Real Madrid were willing to pay more than 220 million euros today Oof, wow. for Kylian Mbappe. So we told you they'd offered 170 plus 10. Uh, in phone conversations with PSG, PSG said we want, it's got to be 200, it's got to be over 200. It was significantly over 200. I've been told it was more than 220 million euros. And basically what's happened is that PSG have stalled they haven't got back to Real Madrid and Real Madrid have now walked away because it is too late to do the deal. And I'm being told now that Real Madrid uh, will sign him on a pre-contract agreement in January and he will move there free. PSG could have had more than 220 million euros today. I've been asked not to name the exact figure, but it was more than 220 million euros. Uh, PSG not cooperating with Real Madrid, not getting back to them, dragging their feet, stalling, playing for time. Real Madrid have thought, you know what, we've tried our best, we've done everything by the book. This is a player who's out of contract next summer. We're willing to give you more than £200 million today. And PSG, who don't forget, are effectively owned by the Qatari state, some of the richest people in the world, the richest country, one of the richest countries in the world. Uh, they can afford to do this kind of thing. Uh, they want to have that front three this season of Neymar, uh, Mbappe and also Messi for at least one season. And that's what they're going to get. Now, is Incredible that to win the Champions story. League? Because the Champions League is a cup competition and you can lose any one-off game. Well, yeah, of course, they, they, wanna, uh, they want to uh, win the Champions League. They also want to have the crown jewels of world football. Uh, the World Cup finals are in Qatar uh, next December as well. I think when you're talking about the richest people in the world and they've spent all this money and they've amassed this incredible collection of players and they've got Messi and they've got Neymar and they've got Mbappe and then the old aristocrats of world football come along the club that have won 13 champions leagues and say look we want to buy one of your best players i think probably potentially the best player most clubs if you said to them do you want messi mbappe or neymar i think most clubs would take mbappe because he's only 22 but psg because they've got so much money have just turned around and said no i think what they're going to try and do is get mbappe to sign a new contract now but again, my information is there's no chance of that happening. Mbappe told them yesterday, I'm not signing a new contract. I'm a Real Madrid supporter. I want to play for Real Madrid. I'm going there. If I were you, I'd take the money today. But PSG have decided not to do that. You've got to say there's still a chance. Maybe he's going to have such a great time playing with Messi and Neymar yeah. that he'll change his mind and he'll sign a new contract. But the information I have is he's not going to do that. Uh, Lee, doesn't everybody lose here? <laughs> now, this is a, everyone's lost, haven't they? Well, yeah, we've just gone from a figure to an even bigger figure there. And yes, I can totally understand that forward line is almost a dream team of forward players, isn't it? You know, we're talking about the best players in the world. Um, but I just can't understand why they would not accept a fee of that and, and let uh, Mbappe walk out the door for nothing. It just doesn't make any sense. I, I'm still contemplating whether this could possibly still happen but obviously it's, it's, it sounds like it's not going to at all so you just feel that again that sort of money is ludicrous whether you're the richest person in the world you know to, to not take that and knowing someone's going to walk out the, out the door on a free contract is just well I don't know what headspace these people are in. Carve was part of this that if they did get rid of him they'd be left short because they haven't got time to get someone else in? Uh, what? I, I don't think so, uh, because they've been signing other players. I think they've signed Nuno Mendes today for about 40 million euros from Sporting. Uh, so PSG have been busy. They've been wheeling and dealing. Uh, another one of their players, Pablo Sarabia, I think he could be leaving today as well. Uh, I think it's just to do with the fact that they don't want to lose face. You know, they don't want to see in a... I think uh, the Sporting director, Leonardo, said it. He said, 
we've had an incredible summer and we're not going to let anybody ruin that summer for us. And he was obviously talking about the fact that they managed to get Messi uh, from Barcelona. And, you know, they've built this incredible uh, team and they're not going to be bullied. It's just the level we're talking about is, is incredible. We're talking about countries, people who rule countries. We're not just talking about the chairman of a football club or a chief executive. These guys are not going to be bullied. They own Harrods the Qataris. They own half of London. They own some of the most expensive properties all over the world. And they also own Neymar and they also own Messi and they own Mbappe. And, there and they in, are not France. going to be bullied by Real Madrid. But a you club who've won, a club who've won 13 They're not going to lose face, league. but they will lose face when they let him go for nothing and everyone says, you're crazy. <laughs> well, you don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to fly him out to Qatar to meet the Emir. Maybe they're going to, you know, pull out all the stops to try and get him to sign a new contract. But what he's telling them is, look, I'm just a, I'm just a boy from France. I grew up idolising Real Madrid. It's every footballer's dream to play for Real Madrid. And if Real Madrid come calling for you, I mean, PSG have only I've got to whisper this, but they've only been in existence since 1970. Yeah. You know, in footballing history terms, I know at the moment they're a massive club, but they are not Real Madrid. And Kylian Mbappe wants to play for Real Madrid. I think the knock-on effect of it, though, is how how's he going to respond to it? Mm. Because it's pretty clear he wants to go to Real Madrid, and and that's the other aspect. The player that we're talking about here. It's got to stay somewhere he doesn't really want to be. Are they going to get the best out of him? I mean, you'd think he'd be professional about it, the way he goes about his business, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he will do. But, I mean, you're right. When you've got so much power, I think it's hard to take that away. And I think this is what it all boils down to, the power of what they possess. And they're just saying they're not having this man. And I think, to be fair to the player himself, actually, he's got his head down and he's been really professional. On Sunday night at Rance, he was the best player on the pitch. He scored two goals. I think from Real Madrid's point of view, I think it would have suited them if he'd come out and gone on strike or if he'd, you know, thrown his toys out of the pram got and refused to... Yeah, got on Instagram, <laughs> released some statements, put some videos on Twitch or Tinder or whatever it is you call it. <laughs> Not Tinder, uh, that's uh, the wrong one. Put your own yeah. personal yeah. life to, yeah. to yourself, <laughs> Carve. So if he'd done that, I think it would have suited Real Madrid. Uh, but obviously he's been really professional and you saw him today, those uh, pictures that Gary Cottrell and his cameraman got today. He's focusing on playing football, but look, he wants to go to Real Madrid. Incredible, incredible story. 220 million euros. Real Madrid said PSG stalling. They've walked oh, away. Oh, one other deal to bring you. Sorry. Go on. Sorry. Uh, just from an agent. Uh, Chelsea have an agreement uh, with Atletico Madrid. I'm getting this from the Spanish side of the deal. They have an agreement with Atletico Madrid to sign Sal Niguez. Wow. So it looks like that deal is happening. Sources in Spain are telling us Sal Niguez Atletico Madrid to Chelsea, loan with an option to buy. That will happen tonight. Oh, it's all happening. Deadline day Can't here they? on Sky Sports Get News. Get your phone on charge because we're going to need you after the break. <laughs>